Friends, I just came out of Ant-Man, and boy, do I got a lot to say about it. Let's get it on. Now I will keep this rant as spoilery free as humanly possible. I'm not going to go into any major details about the plot. I'm only going to discuss things that you've probably seen in the trailer, and I'm really just going to keep it surface level here because to believe it, you got to see it for yourself because I went off this CGI vomit coaster as fast as humanly possible. I just came off of a ride that made me want to puke out CGI guts all over the place, and I'm not feeling so good. There were so many moments in this movie that brought me out of the fact that I was in a movie that I literally laughed out loud at how embarrassingly bad the CGI is in this movie. And when I say CGI, I mean every single freaking scene humanly possible has as much CGI jammed into it as humanly possible. So let's talk about the good. And, you know, <laughs> it's, it's astonishing to me because we used to have an agreement here with, with the audience that they would call out things that were bad. And now it seems to have flip-flopped. Maybe Marvel stopped paying people for their reviews, but take a look at the Rotten Tomatoes. Don't know what's going on here. Critics have it at 47%. Audience score at 84% with 5,000. There's no way. I, I just don't understand it. Now, a couple of things to point out, and I'll, I'll talk about the good first, is the actors are all fine. They're all great. Do what they can, you know? I really get, you know, Michelle Pfeiffer's great. Uh, you know, Paul Rudd is charming as ever. Everybody's pretty okay with with a couple of exceptions, and I, I'm trying to avoid spoilers here. But let's let's just throw a couple out there. Evangeline Lilly is barely in the movie. She must have really pissed off some people because she's not Ant Man and the Wasp. Because it's not her story. She ain't in it. Uh, Catherine Newton as Cassie Lang. If she's one of the next Avengers, I want off this this ride. I, I don't want any parts of it. There, she, her character is annoying, makes no sense. There's some political views that are expressed in here that are just stupid, and I just don't get it. I, I also want to point out that the writer of this movie, Jeff Loveness, this is another Rick and Morty writer that has gone on to write just absolute junk i mean the story the best way i can describe it i'm trying not to go all over the place here but the story is imagine watching return of the jedi without the ewoks and without the original star wars and without empire strikes back where you're just getting everything and i mean everything they must have been sitting at the writer's room and they're like oh we like star wars let's do all of it in one shot you know jonathan majors is like a uh cheap a cheap knockoff of Darth Vader. I, it, it, none of it makes... It's just it's so bizarre if you go into it being like, this is a real weird knockoff. But like, if you want rock... Okay, here's the writers. Uh, uh, think of aliens. Think of anything. anything. Goo guys, you got it. Rock men, you got them too. Guys with laser faces, you got them too. Who else do you want in there? You want ant people? You want weirdo people? You want everything? Nothing makes sense in this at all. They even, none of the, di but the dialogue barely makes sense at times. You're literally going to sit there screaming at the at the film because it's, the problem is it's not a bad movie in the sense that it, it's, it's fun, it's paced quickly, it gets the action, it gets things moving. There's no real dull moments. It's not Wakanda forever. It does, it's not slow. And, you know, the acting's pr pretty darn good. But there's so many things that just pull you out of the movie. It's ridiculous. Bill Murray, why? 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 He added absolutely nothing. You just go, oh, look, it's Bill Murray. And then that's it. And you're like, okay. And like I said, there is one character reveal that is so shockingly bad. It, it Every time the thing is on screen, it's un fathomable what the atrocity that they have done in this movie it's and there's a lot of reactions of people looking at stuff and they even say like this world is beautiful and i'm like a i've seen this in like a billion other shows and movies so it's nothing special anymore and it doesn't make any sense and they just do things because they want to do them and here's my other big gripe and i said i would talk about the i think i'm done with the good we're just going with bad at this point because i'm steamed up and i can't help myself 
I went off this ride. So much CGI was so poorly done. I did like Jonathan Majors. I like his costume is kind of cool. Not going to lie. Kind of dug his costume. His powers are extraordinarily nebulous. I have no idea what he can do. Sometimes he seems like he's telepathic some or telekinetic. Sometimes he just shoots. He's like Iron Man, just shoots laser beams. But it, it's it, it, I just don't get Kang. I don't understand what the deal with Kang is. They keep telling me that he's this terrible thing, this terrible purpose, terrible whatever. I don't understand what he's doing. I, I vaguely get it. Like, I understand the breadcrumbs that they're trying to put together between this and the multiverse of madness. I don't want to spoil anything. But stop telling me that the guy's tele- terrifying. Show me why he's terrifying. Show it to me. Because I was thinking about Thanos. Because they keep saying he's the next big bad. He's the next Thanos. Whoa, he's so terrifying in this. I don't understand how. He doesn't kill anybody. And I'm not trying to super spoil, but... Again, like I just there's no threat from him. He doesn't threaten anything in any way. You don't see any repercussions for anything he ever does. The only thing that I was thinking about when I thought about the comparison to Thanos is you might have sympathized with Thanos for a while until you saw what he did to Gamora. When you literally see his own daughter disassembled and pulled apart being tortured because he wanted to replace her parts to make her better – that's the point where you can go, well, this guy is clearly deranged and I cannot side with him anymore. You may be, and that, and that was the subtlety of how they wrote Thanos. This guy, I don't know what he's trying to, con- I don't know what he's, just, he's the conqueror. Thank you. Okay. Kang the conqueror. What, whatever, man. I, I don't know what you're talking about here. Someone's going to have to explain it to me. Tell me in the comments below why he's awesome because I, I don't get it. Last time we saw him in Loki, he was eating apples and he wasn't scary then and he ain't scary now. Jonathan Majors tries real hard to make it interesting, but I don't know what's going on here. And if you, I, there's one like pretty major spoiler that I wish I could talk about, but I will say just like think of Ant- why is Ant Man kicking this off? It doesn't feel like an Ant Man movie. There's, there's, I, I was in a theater. There was maybe one joke that people laughed at in the audience. The rest of them did not work. There was like two really cool scenes that I enjoyed. And overall, it's it's not a terrible movie other than it just it, it's barely a movie because the CGI is so off-putting that it makes it difficult to even want to watch it. I, I'm not going to watch this movie again. I don't see how it connects to anything. I don't really care. People said the end credit scenes were great. I don't agree. I don't understand why I care about any of this. It's very confusing. Why the fans like it, don't get it. Maybe it's just the first 5,000. Like maybe when it gets to 10,000, it'll drop like a rock because I cannot see people seeing this being like, this is amazing. I know there's a lot of Marvel shills out there, and I really do love the MCU, but they should have ended with Endgame. It took a couple years off or t- did a thing with Endgame and then just went back to street level guys for a little bit. But it's be- it's not good. It's not good. It- it's not. It's just not good. There's nothing like interesting about it, nothing memorable. I won't remember anything about this movie in a week. And Marvel's got a big problem if they think that this is how they're going to set things off because there's just no comparison. You know, Kang, does, I don't know what the threat is. I don't care. It doesn't really, he just seems like he's kind of annoying and not that menacing. He's just not. I don't know what his powers are. I understand what Thanos wanted to do from the beginning. He wanted to end half of all life because there was a surplus of people consuming things or whatever he was trying to go for there. That's why there was the Thanos was right. Was Kang right? What's he right about? I don't know. I don't know. Do you know? So let me know in the comments below. Maybe I'm I'm dead wrong and maybe you loved it, but I, I went off this roller coaster. I don't ever want to watch a movie that has that much CGI ever again. I, I, I do not. This has gone too far. We've 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 tipped past the tipping point, people. No more CGI like this. Let me know. Uh, catch our full length audio podcast Friday nights. We live stream it here on YouTube. Also, you can catch it on Rumble, other places like that. It, the the audio version is on iTunes, Spotify, all those great places and more. Thank you for listening to my rant. Tell me I'm an insane person below. Maybe I'm wrong, but. Thanks again for listening. We love all y'all, but I am on to the next one.